Uh, what is the connection between bias and morality? For example, media bias, uh, which is increasingly causing conservatives intense hostility. I think partially because it has no rational basis to them. I mean, yeah, bias, to the extent that it's real, it, it, it is a reflection of um, evasion. It's a reflection of not being objective, and it's a reflection of not being rational. And to that extent, it's a reflection of not being moral. Remember that in objectivism, morality is about whether you're rational or not, whether you deal with facts or not, whether you're being objective or not. And to the extent that the media, both media on the left and media on the right, are not objective, are not looking at facts, then they have no integrity, they're not being rational, they're being dishonest with themselves, and yeah, that, that constitutes immorality. But I think, I think what happens today is that all of our media is biased. All of the media is biased. And it's, um, it's tragic. So somebody says here, I mean, this is an important comment, so, so no, Your Honor, it's your side that needs to be marginalized because your side will never get the working class or no class. In other words, Your Honor, your side should be marginalized because you can't win. I can't win. I know that. But what is the value of winning if what you win is anti-freedom? What's the value of winning if what you win is inconsistent with your values. What's the value of winning if winning means more authoritarianism, more intervention in the economy, less freedom for the individual? What is the purpose of winning if we're going to be poorer for it? What is the purpose of winning if we're heading towards authoritarianism and all freedom will be eliminated in this country? I mean, it is truly truly disgusting to see people who pretend that they're affiliated with objectivism in some way, who want to win at all costs. And the biggest cost is their own freedom. And they're willing to win at the expense of their own freedom. I would rather die on the barricades, stay in the minority forever, have this little Yaron Brooks show that very few people on the big scale of things listen to, then sell out, sell my soul, sell my values, sell my morality, sell my mind to the winners, to the people who will bring us authoritarianism in the name of winning. Yeah. If AOC and Biden win, we will be poor. If Tucker Carlson wins, we will be poor. Maybe in different ways, but we will be poor. I choose not to support either one of them. I choose to fight them both. I choose to fight on the barricades and lose. As the founding fathers of this country expected to lose. But I'll keep fighting. And if you want to sell out, if you want to sell your soul to the devil, then go ahead. Then go engage in politics. Go engage in, uh, in, 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 uh, in uh, nationalist politics, in anti-capitalist politics, in anti-freedom politics, in anti-individualism politics in the name of winning. What have you won then? I feel pity for you. I feel sorry for you. Because you will won, what is that word? I mean, the one, one, of the, one of the few statements, I think, from the Old, New Testament. You will, yeah, uh, Ellie writes, it's from Mark 8.36. What get, good is it for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit their soul? What good is it for someone to gain political power yet forfeit their soul or forfeit their freedom? That's my, here's mine, Yaron 836. 
What good, good is it for someone to gain political power yet forfeit their freedom and their soul? I like that. You can quote me on that. All right. <laughs> maybe maybe uh, Action Jackson can take uh, my previous rant with this little section on uh, Mark 836 and turn that into a short video. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at yourownbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you... Even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. <laughs> 